Yeah, baby. Hey. Hey, Jim. Oh. <laughs> I'm working on painting that Z4 again today. <laughs> I think I'm going to do the wheels. So what I've done is I've pretty much prepared them, if you want to call it that. I've gone over them a little bit with some sandpaper, blown them all off, and then used this stuff to clean them as best I can. And now I'm going to mask them off in final preparation. And then I'm going to mix some paint and try to, try to paint them. Well, they're as prepped as they're going to be. So I'm going to go ahead and mix my paint for the very first time. We're going to see how that goes. Uh, I'm going to use the cup they gave me. We can see here that it is currently 78 degrees, 44% humidity. The instructions on the paint can, actually, it's this uh, sheet of instructions that they gave me. Very nice of them. And on the back here, you look up here and it shows I have a pot life of two hours at 70 degrees, 50% relative humidity. So uh, I'm going to guess that my pot life is not going to be two hours. It should be a little bit less than that. Hopefully we can uh, get these done like in 10 or 15 minutes. I'm going to uh, mix the paint using this cup like I showed before. And I'm not going to mix up a bunch. I can always come back and mix more, but once it's mixed, I got to use it or lose it. So I'm going to mix up a little bit and I'm going to try out the gun for a moment. Well, I'm going to try out this uh, handy dandy chest mount again. And this time I won't have it on uh, time lapse. I think there's a way I can speed up the video using the video editing. Th Thing. Anyway, I'm going to try to do that, which means I'll probably have to talk over it, which is okay because I'm going to be wearing this thing anyway. So I'm not going to be saying much. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, mix this up and paint the wheels and wish me luck. All right, let's see what this stuff looks like. I have shaken it up. Looks fairly thin. Okay. Uh, well, I guess I should stir it a little bit. Six to one, to one. Mm. That wasn't too terrible. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got here. Hmm. All right, well, I slopped it around a little bit, but you can see we're on the 611. We're right about at the four. So then I will add my next ingredient up to that four, and then my next ingredient up to that four, and I've got a 611 ratio according to this cup.
maybe it's just me, <laughs> but it didn't seem like that spray gun was atomizing it very good. It seemed like it was putting out fairly large droplets. Maybe I need to uh, fool around with the adjustments a little bit more. Um, it looks like what I've got here on the first coat is going to be uh, passable. We'll see after the second coat, but yeah, I might have to look into getting a better spray gun. Hmm. What a surprise. <laughs> yeah, they're not terrible. Certainly better than they were. And that's, of course, all we're ever really asking for around here. But I do have some, uh, yeah, look like a couple of little fish eye things happen. And I tried to clean them. So, that's all right. Yeah. Okay. It's been about uh, 10 minutes, so I'm going to second coat them. Well, there they are. Certainly are better than they were. Uh, these things had yellow highlights when they first got it. And yeah, so what did I learn from this little adventure today? Well, I learned that it's not that easy. I learned that I'm going to have to probably uh, improve my spray gun. Um, I'm going to have to practice uh, a bit more before I actually go for it on the car for the top final coat. I'm sure I can handle the uh, primer with this type of gun. Um, it just didn't atomize it enough. It just seemed like no matter where I adjusted it, uh, it says it doesn't want more than 30 pounds of pressure, but the droplets coming out of it were disturbingly large as far as I could see. I mean, again, <laughs> I have not uh, claimed any expertise here, so maybe that's the way it's supposed to work on these uh, high volume, low pressure guns. I guess that might be exactly how they're supposed to work, but I'm sure there's room for improvement over a $15 Harbor Freight gun. I uh, don't know if I'll go and spend $100 on a Harbor Freight gun or if I'll actually spend like five or $600 on a good Japanese gun that someone recommended to me. I don't know. I'm going to have to practice a little more and see if I can get any sort of quality finish out of uh, the guns. Uh, the, guy at the, the guy at the paint supply shop, he suggested that when I was saying I was going to need to practice on some stuff, he suggested that I go by uh, a body shop and just ask them if they have an old wrecked hood or fender or something laying around that they just give you and then bring that home and use that as a kind of a guinea pig for uh, practicing on. It's a good idea. I, uh, I may just do that because <laughs> what I learned today is I'm not quite ready to start painting the uh, final coat on the car yet. i um, going to have to improve myself a little bit. The wheels look pretty good though, so I'm all right with that. Ah, nice sunset right over a beautiful Porsche. <laughs> Thanks for watching.